Hi, my name's Tom Ludd. I'm a freelance graphic designer and founder of the Designers League. Today I'm going to be showing you the Pixel Persona on Affinity Designer for Mac. So, Affinity Designer is primarily known as a vector editing software. But what you might not know is that it's actually broken down into three different personas that you can make use of. The first being the Draw Persona, which is all of your vector tools. The second being the Pixel Persona. And lastly, the third being the Export Persona. Today we're going to be looking at the Pixel Persona. So, as you can see, these tools have now popped up on the left. And these are your bog standard raster editing tools. So you've got a selection of marquee tools here. You've then got stuff like a pixel tool for drawing individual pixels. Um, you've also got a pixel brush and a razor. You've also then got retouch tools such as your dodge tool, your burn tool, your smudge tool, blur and sharpen tools. Mixing both pixel and vector might seem counterintuitive, but it actually can yield some really interesting results. Let me show you. So if I was to now create this vector circle, let's try that. Now let's move back to the pixel persona. And what we can do now is if I select the pixel brush tool, I can then make use of all these brushes on the right here, you see, that can yield some really interesting textures. There's a wide selection of brushes. Digital painters will really appreciate this, and there's more that you can get online. As I start drawing, notice how it creates a new layer on the right-hand side. I'm not sure what I'm drawing here, but now that it's its own independent layer, you'll be able to see that you can just move it about freely. You can also tweak the opacity or the blending mode. And also what you can do, let's pick that one. I can take that layer and chuck it inside of the vector layer and use it as a mask. So there you go. In about two minutes or so, I've given you a very basic introduction to the Pixel Persona. It's great to have these features baked into the software as a standard and will no doubt save a lot of designers time. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and I hope you get something out of it. Thank you.